become a WordPress developer from scratch. In this course, we're going to be covering the dashboard of that offline WordPress. And we're going to be actually covering all of the basic necessary steps to explore that dashboard. And in that dashboard, we're going to be actually understanding the concept of the links, pages and posts all over the way. How to upload your complete WordPress site to an online local host server or your own domain. We're going to be actually covering that part too. That is actually one of the most important part to cover on that how you can actually manipulate your whole WordPress site or your server inside your online domain or another server. How to create a child theme and then how to actually manage it and inflate it or the main theme we're going to be actually covering that part too. So what is the uses of child theme and how we can actually manipulate the child theme to control other parent themes and how could we actually modify the contents of the parent theme via child theme. That's all going to be discussed in this course. Files hierarchy would also be discussed in this course. That what is the file hierarchy concept of WordPress? What is the meaning of WP admin folder, the WP content folder and as well as all other files which are included with the uh, WordPress uh, installation directory. So all of them would be discussed that why we use individual folder and individual file and what is the basic use of all of them. Along with installing the WordPress offline plus online, we're going to be covering the concept of WordPress.com and as well as what is the difference between WordPress.com and ARG. We're going to be actually setting up an account and then installing WordPress or using the installed WordPress, pre-installed WordPress inside WordPress.com and then actually going to be comparing the differences between the WordPress.org or WordPress.com. In that case, we would be able to get started with along both of WordPress.com and WordPress.org how the pages are manipulated and how they are actually handled by the WordPress would be all shown in this course and how to create your first page and then manipulate them and consider them to be a menu of that and what is the concept of pages would also be covered in this course. Along with pages, we are going to be actually also covering the concept of posts because posts and pages are the backbone of WordPress blogs or websites. It depends upon the hierarchy and as well as the concept of learning both of them. So it will be very important to learn the post and as well as pages at the both time and how to create them with your own instinct. How the plugins are manipulated and what is the concept behind each of the plugin where you can find the plugin and how you can activate the plugin in your own website and then use them all would be actually the best materials to be covered in this course. The fundamental concept widgets would be also covered in this course that how we could actually add a widget to our website or a sidebar and then how could we actually rename it, save it and give a different category to it plus how could we link our widget and then someone would be actually passing something to that widget and how could we actually use different meta recent post or recent command widgets to manipulate them in our own requirement in a way. How can we use the backup system of WordPress and by installing a few plugins that is called WP database backup and with the help of those backup plugins how could we actually backup our whole WordPress system and then in this time of crashing or hacking of our system we would be able to recover them all with one tweak. Search engine optimization is one of the best technique we are going to be using in the last steps in videos of this tutorial. Search engine optimization would be actually used uh, this technique uh, to optimize a website for the search engine indexing like Google and Bing so that uh, it would be very easy for Google and Bing to actually index out our website when someone is looking for the contents inside our website and for that we're going to be actually covering the concepts of search engine optimization too. 